Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing part two of the Unity animation system for 2D spr uh, sprite driven games. Um, <clears throat> we're going to be doing attacks, so let's just get started by adding our attack animations into our controller. We're going to want our left attack and a right attack for this uh, demo or tutorial. Okay, <clears throat> so. The first thing is, we're going to want to make transitions to our attacks, of course. And we're going to need to make a parameter to set true to allow us to attack. Um, we're going to make it a trigger. So a trigger basically is a bool, if you didn't know. But it's only ever on for one frame. So it gets turned on, and it gets turned off the next frame. So we're just going to have a trigger called attack. Over here, we're going to make it so when we are facing the right direction, so minus, point, oops, minus 0 0.1 to the left and less than, and we are attacking, and then we'll change this stuff, don't want it to play whatever animation is playing first, um, cool, then we want to come over and do this side, same thing, but this time we're checking for the other direction. Checking if we're attacking. No transition time, because it's a sprite driven 2D game. And we don't want to have any exit time. Cool. So now we have both of them set up, <coughs> we can do the code. Basically, We'll set it up so that they're being triggered, but at the moment it's not going to be working properly, but we'll show you why first. So we need a way to check if we're going to be pushing a button to attack. So get our button check. We'll just do it to the spacebar. And then we just want to get our animator, set that trigger we made, and what do we call our trigger? It's attack. Because it's a trigger, we don't need to pass in a second variable like we did with the float. With the float, we gave the name and then the actual number. With the um, trigger, we just need to say trigger it because it turns on and it turns off. It doesn't do anything else. With a bool, you would need to say the name and if it's true or false. But with the trigger, you just call the name of the trigger. So now we should be attacking, but like I said, this will not work. So we can still move like last time. And as you can see, when we attack, if we click on the player, now you basically over here, it tries to do the attack animation and it just gets cancelled out because the uh, movement value is like being set, as you can see when we're moving. So when we're attacking this value here, this transition is true. So it's going into here, but then it's going, oh, this transition is true too. So it's just going into this after it. Uh, another thing I just noticed, we didn't set up our exits. So we'll just do that quickly. Uh, we want our attacks to play fully. And that's the only thing we need on the exit, because we just want it to play fully and exit. And you'd think maybe this would fix our problem, because now we're saying, no, play that animation fully before you leave that state. But, as you'll see, we still have the same problem. <clears throat> and that's because we're using any state, and any state is going, well, no, you can transition from any state, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so, to fix that, basically we're going to want to take our walking, our like movement, off the any state because we only want things that are like additional actions off a movement to be on any state so that you can just transition through them easily. Um, so basically all we need to do is get rid of these transitions that we made in the first video and remake them but this time just from the idle. So for the right hand side we do greater than 0.1 no exit time, no transition time, 
to the left side, we do less than minus 0 0.1. Then again, 0, 0. Okay, sorry, uh, I had to do something quickly, but I'm back. Um, so, the way we have it now should be working. Cool, so we can move and we can attack, but we are still moving while we attack, which isn't really ideal. So to fix that up, I'll show you the tag system inside of the animator. So we can come into our attack animation and we have a tag here. So if we just set this tag to attacking and this one also to attacking, then we can check for this tag in the code basically and know when we're doing this animation and block other things for um, when we are. So if we come into here and we add another if statement, uh, we want if our animator dot get, oops, dot get current state info on the first layer, that's why we do the zero, dot is tag is equal to that tag we just made, which is attacking. Then we will do something. What we're going to do is we're going to make a private bool, just call it is attacking. Oops. Why? What's going on with my spelling right now? Yeah, so we have a private bull code is attacking. We'll actually set it to false. Then when this is true, we'll set is attacking to true. So basically now we're going in our animator, in our current state information onto the first layer, which is the layer we have our animations on, is the tag attacking the current tag? If so, attacking equals true. Else, if that isn't the case, then is attacking is equal to false. Cool. Then down here, we just want to have a is attacking. Whoops, we want that in the if statement. If is attacking is equal to false, do this. Else, we'll do this. So, if we are not attacking, then we can set our movement. Whoops, we don't want to do it like that. We can set our velocity and our animation movement because we need it because we're not attacking. Oops. And if we are um, actually attacking then we don't want to set this stuff so just by having that not in there we won't be setting that but we want to grab this Oops. and just set this to zero. So we're not passing a movement value in after we start attacking. Now that should be looking good. Come back in, press play. We can move, we can attack, but we're still moving while we attack. So let's have a look why that is. We have attacking up in here. Um, so <clears throat> if we just have a quick look. We are attacking, we got that, then we set it to true, we set that to false. Down here we are setting the movement based off the horizontal, then we're setting this movement based off that, then the rigid body is based off that. Alright, yeah, well, one issue is the rigid body can. Oh no, this is the issue. The rigid body can never be set back to a zero velocity because it's inside of here, so we need to be setting it to its velocity because otherwise it's going to keep moving. Um, and the other issue is we need to be actually setting this movement 
to be equal to zero. It's just equal to this all the time. We're only changing this here. So if attacking equals true, movement equals a new vector three, and that vector three is just empty. Now this should hopefully work. Fingers crossed. No, this should work. So we can move, and when we attack, we stop moving. Yeah, cool. So that was just a problem. We weren't actually setting our velocity back to zero. But yeah, even just from this, you could probably make a pretty fun game if you just had AI coming in from either side. Just have a time limit and some kind of multiplier for a score. But yeah, we have a base of it down. Um, I just need to do something quickly, and I'll be straight back to explain everything we did. Okay, so, quick rundown of everything we just did. So, we had to change our movement off the any state and put it straight onto the first state that comes out of the entry, just so that that way we can um, make sure that our attack animations never get cancelled. We set up all of our attack animations and we went through the layering, uh, the, the tag system in Unity. We set up our attack um, trigger, explain triggers, and in our code we explained how to check the current tag, how to change a ball based off that, and then how to use that to make things not happen while certain animations are happening. Um, that's basically the like everything we did. Um, next part we'll probably go into rolling and maybe combo attacks, I'm not sure. Um, maybe comment down below what you'd like to see in the next video. But if you like this video, please hit the like button, please comment if you have any ideas or if you just have any questions, and I always appreciate subscribers. Um, yeah, it really helps. So yeah, thank you, have a nice day, and yeah, I'll see you next time.